Welcome everyone. This is V, another video, V Worldwide um, re-unboxing. So I got this cord about two years ago. This is what came from VersaCord. This is what's in the box. This is what they sent me. So the first thing you get is your samples. You can see that there. In a little bit, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to um, show you guys what's up on this. Send a gray one also. So they let you pick out your tiles, the color and everything. I mean, it's crazy. There's a book on it. I'll show you the different styles you can get. Different colors there. Color swatch. These are hoops you can get too. You can also get like a fencing. I didn't get that. Now you can get full cord, half cord, single cord. I mean, you give them the, the dimensions and everything, and they'll set it up for you. You got tennis, pickleball, baseball, or basketball, excuse me. You can actually get a um, pitching uh, mound. Not a mound, it's more like they, they'll set it up where you can put it in like a cage and put your markings down on the ground for like home plate and all that. So there you go, shuffleboard. There's a smaller court right there. And colors again. So this is what they put. They put that in the box. Oh, somebody even got their got it in their garage. And the surface is really tough too. I mean, it's a nice surface. I thought it was uh, kind of flexible at first, but it is just these tiles. You just kind of um, click them together. Let me figure. Let me do this real quick here. A little bit since I did it. So you take this part here and those interlock. And you drop that down just like that. Like I said, I'll um, I'm gonna get to the outside court here in a little bit. I'll shoot a short video on that. I'll get it all put together for you guys. But that is it. This is my sport court. Um, let's see here. It's about it. I'm going to be going outside here in a minute. And I'll throw some pictures up again also in the video so you guys can get a better look at it. Hey guys, I am back. So what we did first is we had the, um, we had to call the dig, uh, call before you dig thing with the city. And they came out and showed us everywhere we couldn't dig. So we, um, had the contractor come out, plot out the land, put up the frame for the concrete. Um, actually got a pretty good deal on the slab. So second thing you do is we put down the concrete slab um, with all the dimensions and everything uh, that we wanted our court to be. We then gave that information to the people at um, Versa Court so they could go ahead and get our um, court set up. They then, after that, we picked the colors and everything that we wanted. Um, after we picked the colors, we did send that to them also, and then they started making it. They sent us a picture of our court in the warehouse made. It was actually, it was pretty awesome. Um, then what they do is they break it apart. to like four by four squares and they will ship it to you. We then about, I'd say not even two weeks later, received our boxes. These are uh, pictures of our boxes here. Um, and then we, after that, we just unboxed it. Basically, um, they gave us a diagram to do everything, uh, with the court layout and we just followed it. They had all of the tiles numbered. So, you know, you can put it in an order. It wouldn't, it's not like a big puzzle, but I mean, it is in a sense that you have to click it all together, but everything was set up. It was really easy to put together. You see me and my, my son and my father-in-law set it up, we got the court in done and set it all up and this is a picture um, of everything here put together and this is me walking around the court here as you can see so this is the court um, walking around here it looks like right there we got they also let you pick your lines and what games you want on there so we had like a in the green there's a four square court and that brown is a pickleball court so 
It's actually pretty awesome what they let you do with it. And all of the all of the measurements are accurate. Here's a zoomed in picture here of the court. Um, earlier you saw the tile. So what those holes allow it to do is breathe. Uh, if it rains, all of it runs down through and underneath the court and it rolls off. And the um, concrete slab we got put at a four, uh, four inch uh, slope, slope. If you stand back, you can't tell. I mean, it doesn't look like it's lopsided or anything, but it allows the water to run all to one end. And there's a picture, we got the blue, and there's our hoop. We, we went ahead and went with the Gorilla uh, hoop system. I'll actually put something up on that a little bit later. This is very sturdy. I mean, it is sturdy. The pole, pole pad, slab there. The slab for the hoop system, we had to, we had to dig like a four foot hole. And you uh, pour cement, just all cement down in there and everything so that's about it guys um let me know what you think down below like comment and subscribe this is my basketball court very awesome um there's a close-up of it again you saw it a little bit earlier so y'all have a good day um take care guys Hey guys, sorry, I apologize for the bad edit here. I just wanted to let you see the scale of this thing. It's a Google Earth image I pulled up on Google Maps. Um, so anyway, take care guys. Have a good day.